Mark given the balance of play. Are you satisfied with the point? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Um, we had a gl glorious chance with Kobe, but that's probably all we did create. We could have cracked the deal tonight. But it was just for desire, guts and effort and hard work. I can't fault him, you know. We kept a clean sheet. Um, Treff's made a great save at the end and, and you know, it could have gone either way, but it was a, an entertaining nil-nil. A little bit, you know, I knew Cav had got him fired up, you know. They were, I got enough money to pay I think he was disappointed, you know, with the with these players Saturday and I think he got a great response off them. We knew that was going to happen and we you know we had to try and match it. But we weren't we weren't anywhere near our best or or our, as hard or as hard working as we have been and that's why we got a nil nil and not a one nil. You know, so we, we were good enough to keep a clean sheet, you know, with a couple of saves from Trev when we needed him on the one V one um, and, the, and the save at the end. But we didn't we didn't we didn't work hard enough to push it over the line and and, you know, Kobe's would have been perhaps a little bit harsh on them, so I'm yeah, pleased with the point, you know, three unbeaten in the league and seven points out of, out of nine, we'd, we'd have settled for that. We obviously want to win our own games and win every game, but no, we, we um, some tired legs out there today, you know, two, what, we had four games in, is that ten, ten days, eleven days, something like that, it's, it's a tough one, but, you know, it's been mainly the, the, the same core of players. Um, but no, I was pleased with their attitude and, and their desire to stay in the game. We, you know, we were far from at our best, but I think the fans have seen that. You know, they, they'll they by this captain and Stevie and Troy and Trevor. You know, they they're, they're, they're desperate to keep clean sheets and do well. And three games played, only one goal conceded. Yeah, yeah. We've got a good keeper. We know that. Um, um, and, and we've got people who you know we're, we're, we're defending better than. No, we have done, you know, there's one or two. We, we need to improve it, lo loads of things, we know that, but um, you know, I have to take a little bit of you know, heat off the players today. You know, there were some tired legs, and like I said before, I, you know, I need to get one or two in sooner rather than later. We'll be all right for Saturday, like I say, we'll, the boys will have a right good, they won't do a lot between now and Saturday, but we'll be, um, we'll go up there full of energy, and then we've got a, a nice week then to, to prepare before Hartlepool. Um, and it's important by them. We get a couple of players. And you said you were to your best, which I think most fans would agree with. Yeah. But the resilience to yeah. hang on in there for yeah. a tour must please you. Well, it really pleases me. I mean, you know, you look at that from last year, we'd have really got beat 1 0 in the last minute. Um, now the resilience is there in abundance, the, the fight and the spirit's there. We've just got to combine it with a little bit of know how at times. You know, they matched us up and, and they were, you know, they had runners, they were, the front two were good, the, the back three. You know, we weren't at our, I said, we weren't at our best defensively, but we, we still created a couple of chances, I suppose. But I just at home, I want, I want a little bit more. But like I said before, we're in the infancy of this of this season and the infancy of, of this system that we're trying to play. And there's going to be different things that we have to try and solve the problems to each game. You know, people are going to throw different systems against us and match us up sometimes or do other things. And as long as we don't lose belief in what we're doing, and, and you know, even. You know, at the end, we just said you know, we can be better, but a massive well done in terms of not getting beaten with a clean sheet. You said you thought you could have worked harder. Where, where particularly? I thought first half, I thought we were, I thought up front we didn't, the ball didn't stick. I don't think we gave us given particularly good balls, but I expect, I expected a little bit better. Um, and at the back, I just, just felt we, we just a little bit. We gave a couple of silly fouls away, you know, not hard, hard work as in running around, but hard work as in with our head sometimes, you know, thinking about the game a little bit more rather than um, just doing the same thing and it not working. What, what we're going to what we're gonna do to problem solve it, you know, rather than watch 45 minutes of it, watch 20 minutes of it, sort, sort out what you're trying to do and, and, and make something else work. But like I said, I can't fault the reference. There were, we were, you know, a few tired bodies at the end, but, but we stuck at it and got a, a good point. These will win more games than they lose, I tell you. They, you know, they're a big, strong side. Cavs, um, you know, missing a few players as well. So, you know, he's got some young lads with energy, he's got some experienced players. I, I you know, I say I know Cavs, and, and I saw that some of his summer signings, and I'm thinking he's going to have a big, strong squad there, and, and he has. I think he has, and um, I think given time, you'll see him climb the league. It's up to us to make sure that we stay up there with him.
Tramier obviously on, on Saturday, no week off. But realistically, do you think there's any chance of getting players in before um, Saturday? It's 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 a long. I, I could at least I could have three players in tomorrow, no problem at all. But I've got I've, I've only got a little a certain amount, a little bit of cash, and I've got to try and get the best that I possibly can. You know, we all went to games last night. We've all been to games, you know, over the last few weeks, and we're all looking at. Our, uh, notebooks from our scouting reports from you know and we're trying you know we, we, we inquired about the lad what um, Marriott Jack today uh, who, who had a chance for them and he was lively first half um, you know we, we, we're looking at young players we're looking at the experience all sorts of things that are going to help us the things that are going to improve us had a little bit of competition in certain places and um, and just keep us on the right track Will, will it get easier to some degree as the transfer window comes closer and players perhaps start to think, hang on, I'm not going to feature? Um, to yeah, yeah, a little bit. You know, after the three or four games, you you probably know if you're going to be in the squads or whatever. But sometimes, you know, clubs don't want to lower them, they don't lend them to lower some the league two teams. So you have to, you think, oh, they'd be a good one for us, but you, know, you, you don't really have much chance. So you have to, you have to continually assess it and continually just try and get the best thing you can. And like I said, we'll. We'll sit down tomorrow after, well, before the, before the reserve game, and, and we'll try and um, assess exactly what we've come up with and where we are with one or two, and, and see where we go from there. And, and how much of it is down to personal relationships? Mark? It's down to cash sometimes, you know. I'd like to go. There's, there's enough players out there, but we can't afford um, contacts and, and 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 knowledge of players being available is. Is obviously key as well, and we, you know we're into, like I said, we're into a few. We've now got to decide <coughs> sooner rather than later um, which ones we, we we can afford and which ones we can, we're going to get that are going to improve the squad. <coughs> but overall, as you sort of stand here, must be pretty chuffed with the first. Yeah, three, I mean, three. yeah, of course. Yeah. We needed a decent start. I would have, I would have liked a better performance and a win tonight for our own fans. But you know, I've seen two entertaining games, two different games, if you like. We. I thought we played well first half, particularly Saturday. Second half, um, not quite as good, but always looked at threats. Today, not at our best, but but if the, I said the, the supporters clapped at the end, so that must mean they like the fact that the players have put a shift in. You know, lads have used that word shift. But, you know, Tails and Matty Taylor have come in. And good shift, lads. Not at our best. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. Not at our best. We haven't got beat. You know, we look after ourselves. Let's move on to Tranmere away on Saturday. Mark, thanks so much. Cheers. You probably had to make yourself solid first, didn't you? Just give you something to build on. Then for the players you're trying to bring in, you probably hope they'll have the impact at the other end of the pitch. Yeah, right? yeah, hopefully. Um, yeah, hopefully. We're looking at a number of players and just seeing what we can do. But like tonight, you know, we tried to change it with... I thought Joe was a little bit running on empty at the end. Of, and <laughs> can't blame him. He's put in a hell of a shift over the last 10 days. Um, Byron wasn't at his best. I thought about taking him off and sticking Kobe up there, but I just felt, you know, we needed to perhaps get another someone with a little bit of dynamism in there just to, and, and it needed work with with the chance that he had. He's, you know, he, uh, he's just got his head down and run, and you know, hopefully it's the target. But really, he should have just passed it to Byron. You know, Byron was in ten yards of open space and an open goal. But listen, he's a young kid. He won us the game Saturday. And if he, you know, he, he's got that burst of pace that gets him away from people. He, you know, he took that, took it off their lad on the halfway line, and just that's what I want. People just go and hurt people. And I felt, you know, there's a couple of chance, a couple of times we we gave Byron a chance to run one v one with us defending, and he's you know, done something different. And I want my, my forward players to be positive. I want them to get shots when, you know, if my only criticism and anything was, was how many shots Terry and Byron have had today, it's, you know, not enough. So. Um, we need to create more, we need to play a little bit better if we want to keep improving. But we also need to get, get our shots away and make sure we keep clean sheets as well. Yeah, did you heart, heart sink when they got the ball in the net? Or did you I know saw the flag fine? straight yeah. away. But whether it was or not, I you know, don't know. Yeah, cheers, Mark. All right.